Hello everyone. Welcome to the Domain Dresser. In last video, I have shown you how to install WHM CS and in this video, I am going to show you some security factors about the WHM CS and how to secure your WHM CS. So, you can see these are the 7 steps to secure your WHM CS. First is a securing the writable directory. So, in this directory, uh, move your writable directory from public HTML folder to the other folders. So, for that, you have to log in into your WHM panel. Here, I have already logged in. Come to the file section and file manager. After that, I have already created the new folder here that is WHM CS data. If you want to create a new folder then come to the folder section and type here your folder name and keep it as a blank because I want to save this folder in a root directory and create new folder. Click on this. After creating a folder come to the public underscore HTML in that we have to move this attachment download and template C file into our new folder that is WHMCS data. So select this and just drag and drop here. So let's check our data is present here. So attachment download and template series file come in WHMCS data. When we move the file then we have to provide the WHMCS path. So just go to here. We have to move this attachment download and template C file in our new folder. And we have to give the path here. You can see the all steps are given. But I am showing you the shortest step. When we move the file, then we have to provide the WHMCS path. So go to the public underscore html folder in that configuration.php right click on it and click on edit edit here you can see the path is already given but here the public html is given means these folders are public so we want to make it private so change the path here give it here our new folder name that is whm cs data let's check once whm cs data okay give here whm cs data and click on save changes so our changes are saved successfully. Our path is updated successfully. So we have complete first step that is secure the writable directory and that we have moved files from the public underscore HTML to the other folders. But the main reason is why we move from public underscore HTML folder because this public underscore html folder is publicly accessible by anyone and we don't want to allow that so that's why we moved from that folder to another folder now next is securing the configuration.php files securing the configuration.php file that means changing the permission of the configuration.php but before that we will move the cron directories so after moving the cron directory you can see here are some instructions are given so according to the instructions go to the c panel and in public underscore html folder you can see this cron folder so move this folder into our new folder that is whmcs data so just drag and drop here once check here the cron folder is available so click on crons directory and in cron directory click on 
configuration dot php edit it click on edit here you can see the path is given here you have to copy the path given from here just copy this path and paste it here here we have to change the path that is in configuration dot php we have given the path here right path that is home dr testing and our folder name copy this path and paste it and click on save changes so our changes are saved successfully then next come to the second path that is we have to save this path in configuration.php file so copy this path and come to the configuration.php file and paste it here so give this same path to the cron directory and click on save changes our changes are saved successfully so we have successfully secure our cron directory path so now to the second part is securing the configuration.php configuration.php is extremely important that is click on this link and in this instruction you can see the 400 permissions provide the system with read only access so go to the configuration.php folder here under public underscore html and configuration.php file is there here you can see the permission is 644 we have to do it 400 so click on it edit click on edit so according to the description go to the configuration.php file and set as a 400 permission so click on public underscore html folder and in that you can see here configuration.php file click on permissions and change permissions here you can see the user have read and write permission group have a read permission and world have read permission so we have to set here 400 we don't want this right group and world so the permission is set as 400 so click on change permissions our permission is changed successfully so you can see here 400 is come so according to your business need if you want to change the permission you can change from here so next part is protecting your admin area so we have already done this part if you want to see this link is given in description next is database privileges here you can see the database privileges while accessing whmcs we need particular privileges when we create database then we have to add some security privileges that is alter create drop index and these are other nine privileges so come to the home page and here scroll down you can see here is the database section and in that you can see the mysql database click on it here you can see the database our database name and these are the privileges click on it here you can see the username and database that is dr testing underscore whm542 you can see this in configuration.php also here here the database name dr testing underscore whm542 here all privileges are alter create delete event we want only nine so you can we don't want this execute references show view and make changes click on it so our changes are done successfully so as per our need we have successfully say the privileges 
Sixth point is protecting sensitive data by enabling SSL. Enabling SSL we are going to explain in next video. And seventh point is not that much of important, so no need to worry about it.